in this video we're going to be working on a Dell all-in-one computer that came in for no power. We already disassembled the motherboard. We did try to power on the computer and no signs of life at all. Now I do not know what the model number is of this all-in-one system, but let's find out quick. Looks like maybe a 24 inch or 27 inch all-in-one machine. It's Peron 24, it's a 24 inch. And the model number on this one is 5459. Right, so as you can see the board sits right here on my right. We took the board out and all the connections. This all-in-one computer is completely dead, no signs of life at all. I asked Big Boss before he left to disassemble the board so I can work on it. Almost time to go home, so this one will be the last repair for the day. Just quick visual inspection by the eye. I do not see anything obvious, no burn marks. Just based on first impression. But of course, we cannot inspect the board by the eye. We have to go under the microscope and see what's going on. The power connector goes here. I'm trying to locate the MOSFETs for the power connector. And I do not see anything on the back here. It has to be this right here. We have two MOSFETs here, the coil, okay, let's go under the microscope and see. So assuming those are the MOSFETs for the power, right here, see the power connector is right over here, and if we look at the surrounding, Nothing here. And if we go a bit to the left, we see two MOSFETs. So these two must be for power, the power connector. Let me go to diode mode. I want to do some quick measurements here before we do any visual inspection on the board. The gate, no short, no short, no short. Oh, look at this. We have a short here. And of course, we're going to have a ground here. Okay. So, <laughs> a short here means consider the job done. Consider this board fixed. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to inject 1.2 volts right here. And then we're going to monitor the board under the thermal cam and see what gets hot. That will lead us to where the short is. Right now, we did not do anything else. All we did was discover a short right here. And based on that, we're going to inject voltage right here and monitor the board under a thermal cam. Okay, so I have my voltage injection tool set at 1.2 volts. We're going to connect the ground to any of the screw holes that we have on the board. or any one of the connectors. And I have it connected like this on the HDMI port, the shell, the outer shell of the HDMI port. That's our ground. And we're gonna inject voltage on the area that is shorting to ground, which is right here. We're gonna inject 1.2 volts right here. Then we're gonna monitor the board under a thermal cam. Let me plug it into our switcher so we can see it on the screen. Before we look at the thermal cam, let me look at how much current is being drawn by the board when we inject 1.2 volts at this MOSFET. Zero point seven eight, not much. So 
So one more time. Not much current is being drawn. Hmm. Zero point seven amps being drawn by that short. Okay, even so, let's go ahead and look under the thermal cam. Right, so we're going to inject voltage right here at the shorted area of the MOSFET and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right here, right here. Right over here. Next to the RAM. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to go to manual mode and we're going to try to pinpoint where the short is coming from. Let's go under the microscope and see what's going on here on this area of the board. And on this area of the board we have a couple of things. We have two MOSFETs and we have a capacitor. And does that capacitor look burned? It does not look good. So that may be our problem. Let's go ahead and measure to see if we have a short here. I'm going to measure in ohms mode. And what do we get on the side of the capacitor? I'm getting 163 ohms on both sides of the cap. Meter in diode mode. 0 0.164 and 0 0.168, which is low. 0 0.220, 0. 20 and of course we're going to get 0 0.164 here 0 0.168 hmm I mean right now our power MOSFETs are here and the short that we are getting is right here it's not a complete zero ohm short but I would say a partial short let me go ahead and remove or you know what before I remove this component why don't we plug power in and look at the board under a thermal cam? What do we see? So I have the power cable plugged in and I just want to look under the thermal cam. I see something hot here right next to the power cable. And right here, the same area that we were pointing to. It's blinking. You see? So I need to look here and see what's going on. And then we have something blinking here, probably because of the faulty capacitor. Anything else? And nothing else on this side of the board. What if we flip the board and look on the back? Yeah, definitely we have something going on from the power connector, next to the power connector. And it's also flashing, look at this. Let me go to manual mode, maybe we can see it better. Look at this. And nothing else is going on on this side of the board. Let's flip the board again. And look at this side one more time, you see? You see that cap, how it's flashing? And the flashing of the cap is related to something next to the power connector. Let me take a look at the power connector and see what's going on. What do we have next to the power connector? Right here.
I think we're not going to worry about this side of the board next to the power connector, but rather we're going to worry about the capacitor that does not look good, which is this one here. Let's go ahead and remove it and see what happens. This is most likely a 10 microfarad capacitor. And that's one big cap. And let's put it right over here. Right, so the capacitor is desoldered. And now I want to measure in diode mode again and see what readings we get. Before we got 0 0.16. And now we have 0 0.461 on this side and we have ground on this side, which makes sense. And if we measure the capacitor in resistance mode, what do we get? We got zero ohms. So this is bad. This is bad. So what happens if we plug the power cable now and look at the board under a thermal cam? Are we going to see anything flashing? And the answer is no. This is normal. This is normal. Okay, and this is normal. I think we're back in business. The board looks normal now. Let's go ahead and replace the capacitor. We do not have anything blinking anymore, nothing flashing. Those caps are almost always 10 microfarads. Fume extractor on. So I can avoid calls from my mother because she does watch the videos. And she always calls and she tells me, I do not hear the fume extractor on. Are you using it? Of course I'm using it. So now we're going to grab that brand new capacitor, 10 microfarads. And we're going to solder it right over here. That's it. The job is done. Better than factory. That cap is better than factory. I'm going to measure in diode mode. And what do we read now? And now we are reading 0 0.458 instead of 0 0.16. That's amazing. And here we are reading ground, like it should. So the job is done. The diode mode is now reading 0 0.458 rather than 0 0.16 on one end and ground on the other end. So the job is 99.9% .9 complete. And the other 0.1% goes towards reassembling this device. Simple. Let's go ahead and reassemble the board. I'm going to do it quick. How is that board oriented? It should be oriented like this. We only have like 6 million cables, so not a big deal. It should not take more than 2 minutes. Almost there. We are almost there. I plugged in all the cables. We do not have a hard drive and we do not care about the CD drive, but I did connect them anyway.
connected the fan and uh, this cable connected this cable this cable and we just have this cable to connect screen cable is connected and that should be it any other connectors that needs to go on there that may be hidden under the motherboard no okay so let's plug power Okay, and we're going to press on the power button and let's see what happens. And I do see the light. I do see an orange light. I do see the white light. And ta-da! Great. The computer is working. We don't have a hard drive, so the computer is not going to boot up to an operating system, but this all-in-one machine is fixed. That's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video. I'm going to put this on Big Boss's desk so he can finish the reassembly tomorrow. And we're going to call the customer to come and pick up. Awesome job. We did an awesome job.